All right, guys, it's 7.30 in the morning. I'm at the studio. I'm about to tattoo in like a half hour, but I just wanted to make a quick video real quick. It's raining outside. The other day it was sunny. Life is like that. Like it's, it's always gonna be up and down, right? The art of duality is important for a good life. If you wanna have a good life, you gotta understand that there are gonna be good days and bad days. And you, you have to be the kind of person strong enough on a bad day to say, this is good. It's a bad day. This is good. Because it's like that saying, right? When things are going wrong, things are actually going right. So you have to really create the opposite of what's happening when all the odds are against you, when all the circumstances don't make sense, you don't like the circumstances, you have to create the circumstances. I refuse to accept any kind of negative effect in my life. I turn that into my advantage all the time. And you should absolutely do the same thing. Every morning when you get up, if you feel like not getting up, get up. Tell yourself it's going to be a, a fantastic day, whether you just woke up to the worst news or the best news, regardless of what it is that sets the tone for your day, you have to reset the tone mentally. And that's what's gonna make your day a wonderful day. And it's not about being happy, right? We're, we're not here to be happy. We're, hurt. we're here to become important. We're here to create things. That's what we're put on earth. That's what earth is. That's what the universe is, a creation. So every day you have to create, you have to build more on the character that you currently have. And I think that's the funnest thing about life because it's technically almost like a game, right? Where there really is levels to life. Um, you start at zero when you're at birth, depending on who is your father or your mother, right? But the average person starts not in the best place, right? Some people are born to insane wealth, insane levels of wealth. Other people are born to dirt cheap homes, you know, or no home. So. That's the beauty of it, right? Whether you are born into a wealthy family or not, do the difficult things, right? Do the difficult things like you love them. Even if you don't love them, there's gonna be a reward. And the reward is the fact that you are capable enough to control your mind and your emotions. At the end of the day, it's all about that. There's nothing else that could set you off course. Anytime, it's like this, this quote Kanye said, right? He, I think it goes like this. He said, 5% of life is what happens to you. 95% is what, uh, how you react to it. And that's true. Every day, analyze every single reaction you have to everything. As soon as you're up, boom. The first thought, what is your first thought as soon as you wake up? This is the things you have to practice to become exceptional in all realms of human endeavor. You have to also give thanks, be grateful when things are going wrong. Not when things are going right. Everybody wants to be thankful when things are going right, but no, you gotta thank the universe, God, when things are literally insane, completely out of your control, right? Because the only thing you can control is your mind. So you also have to learn that some things in life are just gonna be out of your control. You can't control the weather. You can't control the sunshine, right? You can't control other people. The only thing you can do is control who you are. Your mind is your source of power. And everything you need is in there, right? It's just a message for the day. That's, I, I'm, I'm setting the tone for the day right now. Every morning I set the tone because I know what it is. And I know that today is today, tomorrow is tomorrow. But you have to live in the now and realize that this is very special, but it only becomes special when you actually do the work. It's, and I'm not even talking about working literally. I'm talking about the work in the workshop of your mind, the imagination of your mind. That's where the work goes in. So you have to really try to just control every thought, which is damn near impossible. We have like what, 10,000 thoughts a day, right? So. It becomes almost an impossible thing to master, but over time you master it before you know it, you're a stoic man, right? Somebody who could actually handle life correctly, is not reacting out of emotion, is not impulsive, 
right? Explosive. You have to remain calm. Remain calm and be emotionally aware and literally just be the most positive person you could possibly be. That's the message of the day. You guys just try your best, really. Um, and when you try your best, you'll actually get results. A lot of people say they try their best and they're still in the same place. That's because they never tried their best. So you actually have to try your best. And when you think you've tried, keep trying because that's not your best. You gotta, you gotta pass, you gotta surpass limits. You gotta break limits. You gotta set new limits for yourself. And that's the way you're gonna reshape the blueprint of your entire existence. With one little step, you could change the whole course of your life. But it starts as soon as you wake up with the very first words and the very first thoughts.